What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. Today for you, we're doing an under the stairs closet makeover. This is the closet that's creepy and maybe it's good because we're getting into the fall season that needs to be reorganized. This is my kids stomping ground. They come in here, they drop their jujitsu stuff off. There's skates, whatever it is. It all gets dumped off in this little area. It's a little stairway closet off the side of my laundry room. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. I do a bunch of lifestyle mommy and organization videos. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. I'll be linking everything that I use for you today in the down bar below, including my new website that has everything you need all in one place, including all of my favorites. So if you want to see how I reorganize my entire under the stairs closet, then just keep watching. Like Here is the before. It is so scary. And I know most of you are probably sitting there judging me, but guess what, girl? It's gonna look real good in the end. And I'm so excited to finally get rid of this closet. I mean, honestly, this closet is the reason why I'm so scared to move and why it was so hard when I moved here. But I'm getting all of these bins from Target and I just set them all out so I can literally start organizing into the bins. Instead of making a bunch of piles, figuring out which containers, I can kind of just play with everything. So you see me here sorting everything and sticking everything into bins, and now I'm starting to pull everything else out of the closet. I'm getting rid of this ugly black shelf thing. I just completely hate it. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of this. I've literally had this. I'm going to say like 15 years, no joke. And it's finally time to let it go. I'm getting rid of these two little white shelves. I might repurpose these somewhere else in the house, but I'm getting rid of so much stuff. Like this is my progress. I know this doesn't really look like progress, but I'm getting rid of most of all this stuff up front is going. So I'm really excited to purge and get rid of things I don't need, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like as I'm sorting everything into these bins, which this is probably a minimalist nightmare right now, but <laughs> I'm sorting them and getting things together. This is my progress. I have a bag of trash. I have a box. This is some of the stuff that's gonna be donated. I found a bunch of diapers and some bags. I have all of our workout stuff, my kids' backpacks. Um, I also have some of my Louis Vuitton boxes that I'm going to be saving just in case I ever sell my bags. So I need to find another home, maybe out in the garage or somewhere that I don't you know, need to get to all the time. And then I have some gift items that I need to put into the garage. Most of this stuff is going. So none of this stuff is going back into the closet here. And then I have some Christmas stuff that got stuck in here and my pool stuff, that's that bag back there is the Christmas stuff. And then all these clothes came out of the closet. Like what? What are you people doing? You know what I mean? Like, why did you stick these clothes in here? But they stuck the clothes in there, so I have to go through all of these. There's probably some that doesn't fit, stained or whatever, but there, those are the Christmas items. There's a bunch of um, bags and stuff. I'm gonna put those all in one place because they just kind of all got mixed together. So this is a little rack that I got and I'm going to be putting all of my serving items. I'm gonna be spray painting that gold one. I don't really like the color, so I'm just sticking it there for now, but I have a bunch of different beverage dispensers i have some they're like the dishes i think they're called chafing dishes where you heat the food up with like a lighted candle at the bottom it's not like a candle but it's um, some kind of gel that lights up underneath and keeps things warm what's nice is i have room to grow on the side nothing's actually going there i have more chafing dishes on the bottom and then i have this bin which i bring with me to hotels or camping i literally have everything to go in there if you guys want i will link that video down below for you guys but i also have more beverage dispensers down on the right but I love the way this is. This is on the left-hand side when you first come in and it's just, everything has a home and I feel like that's what's going to make me feel like everything's nice and clean. So now I'm just gonna be putting everything, you know, just like Tetris, you guys know that's my favorite. This is my Bissell hand steamer, which I absolutely love. You guys need to get one. If you have kids and you have fabric chairs, it's a lifesaver, I absolutely love it. And then I just have some more bins that have, um, you know, my flowers. Those are all of my flowers that are already put together. So all of my, not bundles, but 
flower bouquets, I guess, that are all in glass things. And I just switch them out. Most of those you can see are from spring and I'll just keep switching those out throughout the year. But all those little containers have um, umbrellas and the kids' elbow pads. I have a bunch of the dog stuff in there. And one of them, all of our Disney stuff is on the right hand side. The ones with the pumpkins, that's all of our like, um, my craft stuff, some of the stuff that I'm working on. So that is also there. I have a lot of party stuff, a lot of party decor in one, which I love having it all together. So if you know we're doing something special with the kids, I can also put pull it out for that. Or if we have like, you know, I homeschool. So if we have school parties, I'll pull stuff out. And then I also have my craft flowers and my foam and all of my, you know, scissors to use to cut the wires. I have party chalkboards underneath that one. Oh, and then I have my bags to do gifts and then I have my tissue paper I have ribbon that I got on sale from Costco that I stick in there all right you guys remember what that before looked like and now ta-da <laughs> oh my goodness I'm so excited let me give you guys a tour so this is on the left hand side right when you walk in and it just feels so good now I just love the way all the containers worked out. I was kind of freaking out because they didn't fit exactly, but now I'm really happy with it. These bins up top are for all of my YouTube videos and projects I'm working on. I'm spray painting a bunch of stuff for a party, so that's all up there. And I never had a place for it before, so it's really, really nice. And then I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a close up of all of the different bins that I have. Like this bin has all of my consumable party products like cups and napkins and special plates and different things. And there's those flowers that I showed you guys from earlier. And what's nice is I can move stuff around like as I'm living and stuff, if I wanna change it, I can, but I definitely have room to grow, which is great. And in these on the, the three bins on the right, the top and then the two on the right are all Disney stuff. And this is the gift wrapping section, which is so nice because I had it in those drawers and I could never get the stuff out. So now I can actually pull it down. And this is what it looks like inside. I have everything organized by type of card. So if it's whatever occasion it is, I can just pull it out and find the card, which is nice. And then I have all of my spray paints. I have literally a million balloons, you guys. It's almost embarrassing. My husband's like, why did you buy all those balloons? And I, I have no idea. I guess just over 10 years of having kids and parties, you just accumulate a lot of balloons. So needless to say, I don't need any balloons for a very long time. Now we have all of the craft stuff. And like I said, I have those chalkboards and some doilies, but it's just gonna be nice to have everything accessible. So if I wanna do something really quick or have a fun little dinner party, I don't have to dig and be buried alive when I go inside this closet. And then that bottom one had a bunch of like games and stuff, but this is my mop, my steam mop. And I have it up there with one of these command things. And I love this. I learned this idea from the minimalist people. They elevate everything off the ground. You guys know I'm not a minimalist, but they have really good ideas on how to keep things clean. But here's where I keep all of my wrapping paper. And I love just having it open. I can just grab it really easy. And then I keep my coolers here. I have another one that stacks on top, but it was molding. So we had to clean it out though. So that will go there. That's their home now. They have a home. So this is when you walk in, this is what it looks like. Everything nice and clean. So I'm really excited. I think everything came together really, really nice. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I'm super happy and now I feel like I'm ready to conquer the world. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for taking the time to watch it and being here and supporting my channel. If you could use anything that I showed you here today, give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell. I'll be linking everything in the down bar for you guys, including my new website. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie.